A couple of days ago, new body cam footage came out in the Courtney Clunny case. Now, police, medical, they're responding to her apartment that she shared with her boyfriend at the time, Christian Obam Sally. And as they're walking in there, she is covered in blood. There are dogs barking and they're trying to get to the victim, but they can't because she's right there. When they're coming in, they don't really understand the situation. Now, when they're going in there, they're trying to assess the situation. Is she the perpetrator? Did she do this in self-defense? Is she the one that attacked him viciously unprovoked? They don't know. But what they're trying to do is they're trying to get her away from the victim because they're trying to help the victim. He's out there. He's bleeding out. You can get up right now. Why do you have to keep him up right now? Get up right now. I mean, I mean, what happened? Shit. Get up right now. Police ordering. So he's in her arms right now. I heard, though, that's what someone in uh, my chat told me, that she apparently called her mom for about a couple of minutes, I think maybe 10 minutes, before she eventually dialed 911. Hmm. Now, we've already seen the body cam footage of her parents getting arrested, both was it Kim and Deborah Clenny. They were arrested because they were charged with hacking into Christian Obamselli's laptop. OnlyFans model Courtney Clenny off the ground after she stabbed her boyfriend, Christian Obamselli. She claims self-defense. Does this new footage help her or hurt her? And what we don't I don't know. Maybe there's a full footage out there somewhere. I haven't seen it yet. I've only seen the ones that's been chopped up by news. Um, I don't know if it really helps her or doesn't help her because I feel like there's we need more. We need to see more of this. But all I can say is she just looks really aggressive. Um, it could be because of the shock, whatever, but I just feel like her tone with medical, with police, is just very aggressive and um, interesting. I don't know. You'll see what she says. What about her parents? There are warrants for you and your yep, wife. This is the one that we watched. That's her dad right there. They were not happy when they were arrested. Life's arrest. What? I know. New videos also. That's sh her mom right there. Showing the moments her parents are arrested as they are accused of trying to help their daughter hide evidence. Just released to Clenny's attorneys by prosecutors show Courtney Clenny covered in blood as police arrive. Take a look. No, no, no. No, I can't. I can't let this out. It's my goal. Wait, it wasn't. Oh my god, I feel so bad for her dogs too. I saw that she has like two little dogs. Just imagine being part of that household, that chaos, having this crazy woman there. I don't know. That's a lot of PTSD. I feel so bad for those dogs. I bet you those dogs are probably like super fucking jumpy now. Whoever has them now. Relax, relax. Why? Relax, relax. Relax. Now, the reason why it's all blurry like this is because you could probably find the footages online elsewhere, but it's all blurry, I guess, because I think her boots are popping out. I think there was like blood all over her. It's kind of wild. I put some screenshots in my Discord from a couple days ago because um, that's when I saw this originally, but... I don't know. It's weird. They're like trying to tell her to relax. And she's like, why? 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 It's like, because they're trying to get you situated so they can get to your boyfriend. Hey, what do you have? What relax. Are you, what, what are you doing from? Yo, guys, please. please. Relax. Please, I'm, I'm, Sit down. Here, here. Okay, okay, okay. Sit down. Here, just let me, let me. Sit down. Okay, okay. 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 Baby, come here. Just sit down. Sit down. Now we have to blur. Oh, she's going to tell us why we blurred? Okay. Yeah, please tell us why you blurred it. I think I saw, I didn't see the original for the entire footage. I only saw the originals like um, when they had already had her in handcuffs and she was sitting down and she looked, she looked crazy because she had blood everywhere. Or some of that blood. It's just too gruesome. But we can tell you the scene is a mess. Plenty is placed in the hallway. She talks with officers who have placed her in handcuffs as she sits on the floor. What? Homicide's the one responding for DV. Wait, is he dead? Is he dead? Sit down. Sit down. Okay, no, I'll sit down. I just, I just. I feel like that scared her right there because they said homicide and then she gets up saying, is he dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? Um, yeah, she's probably freaking out right now. Wait, is he dead? Is he dead? Sit down. Sit down. Okay, no, I'll sit down. I just, I just, you scared me. Sit down. He's not dead, is he? We don't. Uh, no, they're taking him to the hospital right now. He's in the hospital right now. I need to be at the hospital with him. Oh, you're not going in. Why? <laughs> she was like, I need to be there at the hospital with him. He's like, uh-uh, you ain't going nowhere. And she's like, why? It's because they probably see you as a perpetrator. Now, here's the thing. I know that self-defense is a thing, right? So, but usually when you want to assess like a self-defense case, whether or not self-defense is warranted, I would expect her to be covered in bruises in her own blood, like have her be all jacked up looking and stuff like that. But it seems like when they finally had her cleaned up, Yes, she had some broken nails. Yes, she had some marks, maybe some light, some bruises around her body, but it wasn't like 
it wasn't like these crazy severe bruises like she was getting like a beat down you know like face wasn't swollen or anything like that like there wasn't cuts in her face um i would expect to see things like that to warrant to stab someone because you were in fear of your life however it could be the case that maybe there were previous altercations where she was attacked unprovoked that he was the abuser and that she knew that when he was coming at her that she was about to you know lose her life or something like that but 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 but, but so far a lot of the stuff that's been released, a lot of the videos, audio recordings, because he also secretly recorded her as well because he probably knew that, you know, she's crazy. But a lot of the stuff that has been released so far shows that she is the aggressor. We've seen the footages of them in the elevator where she's like attacking him and he's trying to like kind of like hold her down and he's not attacking her back. He's like trying to get her to stop attacking him. So I can see why she had broken nails. Maybe she was going after him. Maybe she was hitting him. And then at some point, she's like, you know what? I'm not hurting him. I'm not doing much. Let me just get the knife and let me just stab him. But she claims that she threw the knife at him and it somehow just landed perfectly into his chest deep enough to cause him to die um, at the hospital. I don't know. I mean, maybe she'll have some evidence to prove her side of the story. But like I'm saying, a lot of the stuff that's been shown out there right now truly proves that she is the aggressor and she's the one that escalates things further. Because we're conducting an investigation. And quite honestly, even if there are videos of him out there where he hits her back, I mean, that's defense to me right there. Okay, if you have someone that's like mauling at you and you hit them back trying to get them to stop or you're trying to hold them down, I think that's self-defense. It was for, it was for him. So, I mean, I have self-defense. I mean, my mom was on the phone. You're good. Well, listen, it takes Oh, okay. So I wonder. So that's her right there referencing her mom. Because someone in my chat told me that apparently she was on the phone with her mom before she called 911 to get help. It's possible she called her parents and her parents like, okay, shit, we need to come up with a story. Say it's self-defense. Say you're defending yourself. You know, because like sometimes, sometimes shitty parents, all they want to do is protect their kids, um, even if the kids are in the wrong. Mm. Aiden Fucci. Mm. They're coming. You want to talk to them? And it was free. It was self, I mean, I was self-defense. I mean, my mom was on. It's, it's as if she doesn't even believe her own story. Like, she can't even say it out loud. Oh. You're okay. Well, listen, the detectives are coming. You're going to talk to them, and then you're going to explain your But y'all, but I'm going to be covered in blood. I look crazy. I was so what? Why would you be, why would you care what you look like right now? Oh, man, there's just a lot of things I just don't like about her. And I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to not be so, like, I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of us are just biased, right? I try, I try to be as, I, I try to be as objective as I can sometimes, you know? But sometimes, like, I don't know. I'm sorry, but we've already seen all the footages and the videos and how crazy she is. I was holding him while he was spurting blood, trying to stop the blood. Okay, so you guys started arguing, then what happened? Um, threw me against the wall. Choking, I mean, you're looking like this. He's never like choking to where like it's like okay, so he, so crazy he, stuff. So but he, like I mean, I couldn't breathe. Okay. Then he put me on the. So he throws you against the wall. Then he put me on the ground, choking. That's happened two other oh, times. Did before. he tell you anything? That, um, did he say just like <sighs> like that kind of face, like where I was really scared and I was trying to get him off of me. Anyway. Okay. So he threw her against the wall. He choked her. He growled at her. I'm just saying. Seeing how aggressive she is at him, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if he just fucking responded. Then he gets off, then I called my mom. Okay. And then I was like, I went into the other room and I was talking to her and I was like crying and saying like, like something has happened. Like, I don't know what's going on with Christian. And I was, I was just like crying, whatever. And then like, I went to the kitchen and he started like charging at me. And I said so, like, I'm going to like, the statue and he goes do it and then he starts me up through but he was far away and i never in a million years like he was like i'm, I'm he threw scared a, a statue at you no 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 it was the 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 um uh, knife i said like i was just holding it to be like please don't come anywhere near me plenty so she was in i don't know man she's, she's saying that like he's far away he's charging at her she was on the phone with her mom and then she throws the knife I don't know. And I, I'm also curious to see if the timeline adds, um, if the timeline even adds up. Did she really call her mom during the argument or did she call her parents after the argument was done? And then also it could be argued that if you were in fear of your life at that time, why didn't you dial 911, right?
But I get it. Sometimes in domestic violence cases, you know, some people don't dial now. They want to. They don't want to call the police on their significant other. But we just have a lot of questions here. As you've seen, is wearing baggy, silky pants and a bikini top. But police ask her if she has something they can place over her. My, my boyfriend's blood is all over. I know, but you can't. Unfortunately, you can't go in there. You can't. You can't go in the apartment. Forty-two twenty, sir. Okay. Forty-three. Uh, Seventy-two twenty. Okay. Six nine four. Okay. Uh, I also wonder if, um, I mean, I know this is like a nice Miami penthouse or I don't know if it's a penthouse, like apartment or whatever. Maybe the walls are a little bit thicker. But I mean, with how she screams and we've seen her scream really loud at her boyfriend. I wonder if any of the neighbors heard and I wonder if any of them called 911 or if they called the front desk. Be like, hey, yo, like, you know, apartment 402, they arguing again. Can you send someone up to tell them to shut up? Like, what's going on there? Or call the police or something like that. Um, I wonder if they already knew that something was going on there, like law enforcement or if they purely just came because, you know, she was the one who called 911 at some point and she told them what happened. I have um, on... We have a four, five, three, so on my couch. So on the inside. On the inside, not like the full couch, but on like the couch kind of chair. Just like a loose, like comfortable shirt. I think that's there's like t-shirts or whatever in the house. I'd be in and then, and then there's a pair of gray NBA, NBA sweatpants that are his. That would like to wear. As Clenny sits in the hallway of her condo complex, she asks to see Christian Abamselli. I, 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 I need to go to the hospital. Huh? I have to. You gotta give us a statement first. That's fine, that's fine. But I, can I go to the hospital? After we're done, yes. We're going to the hospital. We're going to the hospital. Can I say bye? Can I say bye to my wife? I'll be right back, boys. I'll be right back, okay? Can you hear? Mm, man, those dogs deserve better. Plenty is also very concerned about her dog and what will happen to him. Right. Baby, don't play. Because a woman who can't control her temper towards someone that she loves, like her boyfriend, I mean, can we really, can she really control her temper if her dogs don't behave? I wouldn't be surprised if those dogs were, I don't know, maybe seen some crazy shit, but you know, sometimes people treat their dogs better than their significant others. Police take Courtney Clenny to the police station to interview her. Later on in the interrogation room, Courtney Clenny appears shocked when she is told that Christian Abamselli is dead. I have to inform you that Christian did not make it. Okay. Um... Unfortunately, she's like, but how? I stabbed him a couple months ago. He was fine then. Doctors did what they could. And... Christian is dead. Yeah. Oh my God. Courtney Clenny was charged months later with second degree murder. Now her parents. Yeah, apparently they um they like <laughs> they arrested her while she was in Hawaii or something. <laughs> parents also face charges. I have to cancel the Ashley. I'm supposed to be here in thirty minutes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, no, I'm not okay. I know. Nobody's going to hurt you. I understand. I mean, you're physically okay. Whole deal is we we have, certainly we understand. So we do have the text messages. Um, Apparently, the dad, they, okay, so here's what happened. They got a warrant for Courtney Clenny's phone, her iCloud, her parents' iCloud, and through the parents' iCloud, that's how they found out that the dad, Kim, was messaging the lawyer about trying to guess how to get into the laptop of Christians. And he was like, oh, it's like a four number pin. Oh, I got it. I'm in. And the lawyer's like, wait, wait a second. Actually, don't go digging around because, you know, they might think you tampered with it, you know, stuff like that. So that's why they're arrested. Um, I didn't see any text messages between the mom. I don't know if the mom was also, I mean, I know she's charged. Maybe she's, there's some evidence with her in there as well. Or maybe she was in the room with the husband. We, we're not quite sure. But I don't know. We'll see how this um, plays out. All I'm saying is it does not look good for Courtney Clenny right now. It doesn't look good. I mean, yes, she needs to have her day in court, blah, 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 blah. But all the stuff that we've seen so far, it just doesn't look good. It seems like she was the aggressor, the abuser. And honestly, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if the boyfriend defended himself and he maybe try to like whack her back or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, we haven't seen any evidence of that. It seems like he always try to contain it. He'd always try to deescalate it as best as he can. But I don't know. It just doesn't look good for her. Doesn't look good at all.